Hi, I'm going to show you how to crop a GIF into a custom shape using Photoshop Elements. Now I have six open. It's done the same way in, in all of the versions of Photoshop Elements. Now I, 11 might be a little different because they, Adobe's changed the entire layout for Photoshop Elements 11. But uh, in all of the versions of, of Photoshop Elements, this is one way of doing it. I made a simple little animation here. I've got eight different layers, and it's just a heart turning around on a red background. Now we want to, um, this may not fit in a, a circle, but we'll make it fit in some sort of a rounded shape. Even an ellipse might do it for us. First of all, we can't use the crop tool because the crop tool basically uh, crops in squares, you know, right angle kind of things for photographs. What we're going to do is come down here and you're going to see a icon, a little heart. That's the custom shape tool. And just click on it. Over here, we have a little arrow in case we want to change it around. And here, we want unconstrained. Click the little radio. Radio means round. And then down here from center, although we'll end up moving it around. Okay. Next, we want to select the shape. If you do not have this selection of shapes, over here, you'll have the two little arrows pointing to the right. Click on it, and you'll see you'll have a bunch of shapes listed down here. We want to click the one that says Shapes. You can see there are all different kinds of shapes here. I use the arrows quite a bit. You have all kinds of arrows. And you have uh, crop shapes, which are standard to make uh if you want to make a splatter or put a frame around something like a grunge frame. The other thing you can do is click on large thumbnails so, and then pull this out so you can see them better. That helps. Okay, you have little stars, you have all kinds of shapes. And, but right now just go down here between ornaments and signs and click on shapes. And we want to use the solid circle. Click on that. Click out here in the workspace to close it. Make sure your first box is check marked. Style, black, it doesn't really matter here. Now try to eyeball it and kind of get it in the middle. We can move it around and just click. I usually go up to the height of my shape and over to the width of my shape. It's a little too tall. There we go. Come back to the toolbox, click on the Move tool. You want to move it around. There we go. And we can move it again in a second. Come back to the toolbox, click the Magic Wand tool, and click once. Oops, has to be simplified, yes, because it's a vector. Okay, and now we've selected that. Come back, get the Move tool. What you're going to do is move this all the way to the bottom. Okay. Now you'll notice you can see how much of your heart is inside the shape. And you might want to make this a little bigger. There we go. Because the heart's going to turn around in it, don't forget. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, and then click the little green check mark. Okay, now we don't want to delete the heart. Come up here to select and then click on inverse. Okay, now just slide up to your very top one here. Click on it to highlight it, your top layer. And then press delete on your keyboard. And you can see as you do this, just come down to each one. Whoops. And press delete. There you go. And now we have our hearts in a round shape. Okay. Yeah, that's not too hard to do. Let's uh, go a couple of more. How do you do that? 
you move this down and you'll notice that as you click on these layers that the selection shows through so you just press delete on your keyboard Ta-da! Now press Control and D, and that gets rid of the marching ants. We don't want our black circle in there, so click and drag it to the trash can to close it. Now we've got our heart in a circle. Next, we want to make a GIF out of it. File, Save for Web. We want to click on Animate. And I've made this one small. Don't forget. Uh, if you have a GIF, it should be very small because it can only be displayed in an email or on the web and uh, doesn't have to be very large at all. Down here, preview in. I'm going to preview it to see what it looks like in my web browser. And there's the heart turning round and round and round and round and round. Okay, if I like it, I click OK and I get the regular save as. I want to put this one in my pictures, give it a name, and I'm going to call this um, Turning Heart. You don't have to do anything down here. It's going to save images only, and then save it. Okay, that's how you put a GIF animation inside a custom shape. Now, you notice on your shape tools, you have a lot of different kinds of shapes. I've put photos inside hearts before, or you can put them inside a starburst. Okay, especially around Valentine's Day or for children and things. Put them in stars and starbursts and hearts, and they love seeing their photos in different kinds of shapes. Well, I hope this helped you.